Hello, it is always a pleasure to have you in my class. I remain Mr. Emmanuel Otwada. Today, you will be having fun learning about communicable diseases. What are communicable diseases? Communicable diseases are also called infectious diseases. They are diseases that can be spread from one person to another. These diseases are spread by agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, and toxins. How are communicable diseases spread? Communicable disease can be spread through direct contact or indirect contact. Direct contact. This is the spread of disease from one person to another person. While indirect contact is the spread of disease from one person to another without direct contact. Let's look at the direct contact. In direct contact, the, the victims or the patient must be in contact with the infected person. So the infected person and the person being contaminated, they will have to be in close contact. This can be spread also through sexually transmitted disease or from mother to the unborn child. The disease can pass through the oblique cord to the baby and this is another form of direct contact. Direct contact can also be spread through droplets. When a droplet from an infected person touches an uninfected person, the disease spread immediately. So this is another way disease can be spread. Indirect contact. This is the spread of disease without the infected person touching the uninfected person directly. Airborne disease is an example of indirect contact. Just by merely breathing in an inf the infected air, you can get contaminated. Then when you touch contaminated object you can also get infected common code tb which is tuberculosis chicken pox and mobs are example of diseases spread by what indirect contact which is through the air contaminated object like i said earlier on can also affect an unaffected person Use of sharp objects like razor blade, blade and clipper, syringes that are contaminated can also transfer diseases from one person to another. Eating contaminated food or drinking contaminated water can also what, transfer diseases from one person to another. So you see, the animals can also transfer diseases indirectly to humans. Dog bites and the feces of animals can affect persons. Excess bites can also result towards transfer of contaminated diseases. Fleas, mosquitoes, and ticks act as vectors. Even birds, dogs, and mammals carry these diseases in them, and this is transferred from one person to another. Malaria, West Nile virus, tick bite, fever, yellow fever are examples of diseases that can be spread through bite of animals. Waterborne diseases are diseases spread through water. This is transferred by drinking contam contaminated water. Cholera, dysentery, diarrhea, typhoid fever are one of the numerous diseases that are transferred by drinking contaminated water. 
This disease is spread through the water. Then we have airborne diseases. These are diseases that are transferred by breathing in contaminated air. The air is contaminated when an infected person sneezes or releases droplets into the air. And when this droplet or the contaminated air gets to an inf uninfected person, the person gets infected. Measles, cough, flu, mops, chicken pox are examples of diseases that are spread through the air. So you can get contaminated just by breathing in contaminated air. They will also have diseases that spread through animals, through parasites, which carries these diseases. Examples of such diseases, we have the rabies, spread by dogs, malaria fever, spread by mosquitoes, yellow fever by the Aedes mosquito, and Lassa fever, spread by rats. So all these are also diseases that can be spread from one person to, to another with the aid of disease vectors. That is animals that have to carry the disease from one host to another. STDs, which are sexually transmitted diseases, is also a platform through which diseases are spread from one person to another. During sexual intercourse, diseases are spread from one person to another. Examples of such diseases include gonorrhea, HIV AIDS, syphilis, and herpes. These diseases are deadly and they are very dangerous to human health. Therefore, it is very important that care should be taken to avoid sexually transmitted diseases by staying faithful to one's partner. Let's quickly look at some of the ways communicable diseases can be prevented. How do we prevent the transfer of these diseases? Wash your hands often, keep immunizations for yourselves, your family, and your pets up to date. Use antibiotics as prescribed by your doctor. Practice safe sex. Use insect and mosquito repellent. Practice good hygiene. I know you've learned so much about communicable disease. And you know health is well. So keep safe. Keep good hygiene. Until I see you next class, it is bye.